Red Lake Nation band members gathered this morning to hear Tribal Chairman Daryl Seeky Sr.'s second state of the band address. Our Mary Keeler took in the remarks at Seven Clans Casino. I want to make comments on the challenges we have faced with the United States government. The U.S. government has failed to live up to their trust and physical responsibility. Tribal Chairman Daryl Seeky Sr. wasted no time getting into his State of the Band address to the Red Lake Nation this morning, starting out by outlining the tribe's efforts to keep their rights as a sovereign nation. He also has camaraderie with politicians, whether they're truthful to him or not. He's good with them. Band members from as far as the Twin Cities listen as the chairman outlined successes like the Red Lake Police who have made it their mission to keep drugs off the reservation by creating a task force, seizing three pounds of meth and four pounds of heroin so far. The task force has partnered with other programs and has become driving force behind some of the drug cases we currently have. They do believe that he is honest when he speaks and I loved everything that he said. It's growing. The crime is being taken care of, which it should be too. He talked innovation too as he described the three-phase plan for the solar energy project. We've kind of become the leader in that and I think we think it's the right thing to do and we've put together a great team of partners and it's going to be big for us in the future. Making sure that onlookers took notice that his last 20 months in office have been filled with ideas and progress. In Red Lake, Mary Keeler, Lakeland News. Since Siki took over, the tribe has seen 120 new jobs created on the reservation. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.